Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left hand corner, we have Bon Bon starting as the blue Protoss street clock location. We have I Love XTO starting as the red Terran. This is going to be on Monopoly. Has those extra mineral patches in the main bases. Another three player isometric map. Several of them actually this season, I'm realizing. Additional expansion up here. And actually, hallucinated mineral fields. Why? Map Banker's just throwing this out there to showboat, I guess. I didn't even realize this was on this map. Don't know how much of a factor it would be. Maybe it would prevent, like, a liftoff. I wonder what the logic is. I think it might just be there for their own entertainment. But, like, we know it's there. Anyway, final match of I Love XTO versus Bon Bon. To see who advances to the finals. And this is a halfway decent map to try to attempt the 12 Nexus. A little bit harder for Bonbon bon to play his style of trying to hide command, you know, play whack-a-mole command center. Although Bonbon bon showing that he's wise to those tricks in the previous match. And I gotta say, I like Bonbon's odds of making it out to the final. Because XTO showed some really strong play in game one, game two. But it feels like Bonbon bon has just made the adjustments to that play in game four and game five. Or sorry, in game three and game four. To not just stay alive, but... Look like a potential favorite going into this final match. Probe Scout wandering out after planting down that gateway. We'll see what XTO has. He is a creative player. And mostly I would say his biggest strength is, abil is his ability to peel off troops. Leaving just two siege tanks. Just really good troop delegation. Leaving the perfect amount of troops to take out a base rapidly. While splitting off the rest of atta his attack force. So basically, if you get into base trade situations, it seems like he is comfortable in that scenario. Probe actually has an opportunity to get a gas steal, but it looks like it's wanting to harass the SCV. So, wondering if this this leads me to believe Bon Bon wants a Nexus sooner rather than later. Is going to try to save the resources because this gas is still open, and XTO still not grabbing it either. So is XTO going to go for a fast? So has that initial Marine, but plopped down a Supply Depot, even with the risk of that probe in the base, just ignoring it. The probe now going to sit na at that natural expansion. SCV has made its way around. And is going to be able to get scouting information inside Bon Bon's base for a good amount of time. Marine pushing that probe away. Pylon blockade just to delay a command center. Looks like it's going to be a cancellation, though. But yeah, so it looks like XTO initially positioning as though he wanted to go for a quick command center behind that barracks, but he's going to go ahead and drop that refinery. On the opposite side of the field, XTO going to pull that SCV back. I don't know if this was spotted by the SCV or not, but showing fake range, which means we're most likely going to see DT or quick reaver off a of cancellation. I would be shocked to see scouts early. Not something you typically see out of Protoss. And here's the proxy tech, Citadel of Adun. So Bon Bon trying to use XTO's own tactics against him. He's going to go ahead and hide buildings to the north where no SCV has any business scouting. Now that he has a Dragoon out, actually he's almost wanting to tempt an SCV and to go ahead and scout this. This still hasn't been canceled, which is actually delaying. This... This staying spinning is actually going to delay some mineral and gas to get that Templar Archives down a little bit faster. So Factory, although I guess you can go ahead and cancel it now that that's warped in. But no, still still letting it cycle. Dropping the Templar Archives, so a little bit... Huh. Anyway. Natural expansion to come online. It's now up to XTO to get some form of detection out in an engineering bay. And having decent coverage. It looks like two factories being placed otherwise. Range now officially cancelled. But there's going to be a gateway to the north, a gateway at the main, a Dragoon blocking the gap. Barracks creating a partial seal on the front door. There's still plenty of a gap to walk through. Still no indication of detection. We do have a machine shop maybe to buy mines. And let's see if XTO is going to respect that Dark Templar threat. Probe making its way back to home base. A Dragoon on the front just in case an SCV is going to try to sneak out. We have that Engineering Bay right on the front. 
and I don't see any robotics facility alongside this. The Dark Templar are going to be at a closer location from this northern gateway. A Nexus being built behind this. The Zealot testing the front sees that engineering bay. Is that going to dissuade the Dark Templar? I believe the timing of this is that turret is going to be up just as that Dark Templar is wandering across this natural expansion. And XTO doesn't have... A, here's the thing, though. XTO doesn't have a lot of troops to deal with it, regardless. So, yeah, here's the Dark Templar walking in, and it gets spotted. Turret doesn't even finish with that placement. Finishes barely, but there's not enough troops from XTO, and this is a terrible way to lose a game five. First Dark Templar in, taking turrets down. That's going to open it up for that second Dark Templar to make its way into the natural expansion, trying to get past the SCVs. But here's the problem for XTO. Even if he gets one of these turrets up, he's going to have two vultures, maybe, to try to deal with this. Has an engineering bay up as well, sealed otherwise. The Marines, with that turret up, working on that Dark Templar to that right-hand corner, spotting that, so it looks like they're going to split one of them in the bunker. That Dark Templar is dealt with. This Dark Templar still wailing away at what it can. Bonbon bon trying to break up the front door is able to take that out. And now he just might have more troops to deal damage. At the very least, he's going to be able to cut into the SCV count. The Dark Templar being taken out left and right. This one looks like he might... He's got the machine shop burning. Is working on the factory as well. A Dragoon. Trying to focus fire down that Vulture. Not quite able to do so. Now backing up, trying to take care of SCV. For a second there, I was looking to see if more troops were making their way this direction. A Comsat not quite able to take this Dark Templar out. That factory in the yellow. Dark Templar has a lot of work to do ahead of him and potentially some group repair. Going to deal with things otherwise. <laughs> able to get that... Looks like the machine shop's just going to burn down. So now this Dark Templar... Trying to be in what the, the small gap where there's not detection. Finally getting wiped out. But significant amounts of damage done. Was it worth it? So this factory burning. XTO just needs to move out and repair. He doesn't have a lot of troops on the ground. Natural expansion's up. 38 probes, so big economic lead. Stargate's up to immediately transition potentially to Arbiter. And there's going to be three quick gateways. And more Dark Temple are move, making their way towards the front. However, plenty of detection and plenty else not to go ahead and impede that. Plus one weapons being built. Third factory being plopped down. XTO just repairing the factory that was burning to make sure that it is in the yellow rather than in the red. And Bonbon bon going to go ahead and grab an additional expansion. SCV wandering out. It's going to get wiped out before it's even able to find detection to the north. That's also pinning the vultures back. So aggressive attack in the early game, putting XTO on the back foot. Vultures pressing forward slightly. They are going to have at least the mine upgrade in a minute. Comsatting to go ahead and clear that DT off the front, but not before it costs one of their lives. So this tech potentially exposed, this base potentially exposed if Bonbon bon doesn't get some pylons down in a hurry. There are two Dragoons and probably more to field. Yeah, four, four Dragoons should be able to protect this front without a massive amount of trouble. The bigger issue is, yeah, the base to the north. It looks like Pylons are going to protect that location. Bon Bon wandering across the map. This is going to be his biggest win as he's taking out a lot of the infrastructure to the north. However, Templar Arbiter Tribunal already up. This does open up the opportunity for early recalls in the mid-game. And XTO macroing his brains out as a follow-up. Somehow able to get within 7 as far as the worker count. Dropping a starport, I assume, to get towards plus 2 weapons. He's got 4 factories up with 3 machine shops. So I, I do believe he wants to follow this up with a plus 2 weapons, plus 1 weapon attack. Although with 4 factories, you do have the flexibility to do either. Comsatting. Finding Dark Templar kind of latently out in the field. Single cannon to the north. It is possible that XTO just might want to 
press into that. Currently, he's just laying mines at each base to make sure that Bonbon bon can't take bonus bases. You got three machine shops. That can produce a lot of siege tanks. Control tower being dropped. There's a science facility to make the way towards weapons too. Dragoons, however, starting to field out with zealots. And the first arbiter is going to be out well ahead of typical timing for XTO to deal with it, potentially. SCV finally finds the tech pocketed to the north, but it, zealot leg speed looks like it might finish. Oh, no, this is going to be close. Working on the pylon. They're at least... This is uh, actually pretty significant. Oh, it's going to be close. Zealot leg speed is going to finish, so everything working out in Bon Bon's favor this match. Doesn't even need the Templar... The, sorry, the Citadel of Adun or the Templar Archives anymore. Necessarily. Because he's got his Arbiters, he can build them kind of as afterthoughts down the line. Does need to be... This is one piece of Bon Bon's game that was uh, a little bit weak earlier. Is this the... Mind dragging into massive amounts of Dragoons. It looks like Bon Bon able to migrate those probes to the upper left-hand corner. Loses this, but that was definitely worth it. In stymieing XTO's early base economy. Fifth factory being tacked on. Weapons 2 is actually silent here. It looks like XTO grabbing another command center. So he's going to grab the command center in the upper right. And building yet another command center to, I assume, try to take this position to the north. I gotta say, I like Bon Bon's decisions and play in this map as well. These Dragoons starting to push these Vultures back. If he just walks up, he can see that command center and force a cancellation there. But he's got to spot it. Because one thing about Monopoly in the mid game is, is if you can get groups of siege tanks, you can control lanes fairly comfortably. I think XTO realizing that base is exposed to the upper right. Zelts are making their way that direction. He's going to go for an attack right into the natural. So XTO, with a map positional move, first of all going to be protecting this base from going up, but also... Establishing a foothold at Bonbon's natural expansion. So Bonbon completely out of position with his troops to defend this. Potentially a game-ending maneuver. The Arbiter holding up short doesn't have enough energy for a stasis. Does have enough energy to bring on some cloaked units. The Zealots catching the tanks just as they're sieging and unsieging, though. Disaster for XTO. But a lot of probes losing their lives in this defense. However... XTO losing the entire... So, lost the entirety of his army for a handful of probes, and I don't know that that's worth it on Monopoly. Down 40 supply. Does have five factories to replenish that rapidly. Is going for a dropship to maybe try to assault this upper left-hand base. But has another command center that I believe he's just going to try to float out. It looks like he's going to try to float out here. And again, is just going to try to play thin defense and hope... To defend it. Another expansion going up. At the 9 o'clock location. Command center starting to produce SCVs. Along that right hand edge. But Bon Bon. The moment. Kind of a rare situation. Where there's map control for a Protoss player on Monopoly. You don't see it. Much these days. Answer a question from chat. I believe these guys are. Solid A rank players. That sometimes dip into S. At this, at this level, the semifinal in Hasu League. Bonbon bon staging around the 6 o'clock location. Every once in a while, there's an S-ranker that ends up in Hasu League. Machine uh, being a, a prominent example. Machine will, will dip into S every once in a while, depending on his shape and form. Seed Shanks defending across that 3 o'clock lo location. Vultures staging up. Doodle might be there right now. I'm not sure, though. The way he's playing it looks that way. Back to the match. XTO now getting, yeah, standard Monopoly things done. At least the Dragoons are in position. Arbiter, which saved it energy, looking for a recall over the factory line potentially. Siege tanks are there to provide some defense. And actually, I was kind of hoping it would just ignore all this and maybe go for a recall to the north. Sees the SCVs transferring. Did, did he recognize it, though? It looks like not. 
That's unfortunate. I don't know if his minimap just wasn't there, but doesn't see the SCVs transferring to Nordsk. This was prime recall location, and XTO couldn't defend it. Bonbon, bon, though, staging up defensively on his four bases. He is one base ahead. Command Center trying to, yeah, going the long way, floating to go to the north. Two siege tanks going to try to make their way up to this location. His Arbiters are actually might even be able to just take this command center out of the sky. Siege tanks not yet unloaded there to the 12 o'clock location. XTO dealing with other things. That command center going to get wiped out. And now, yeah, finally staging up and that recall going to get denied. A stasis at the very least. Plop down. I still don't think... Yeah, that's still challenging to press into. So Bonbon bon going to cycle his way around. And assault from the north into the natural expansion. Does he have? He does have energy to drop a couple more stasis. And actually, if he can get yeah, that line of siege tanks and this other line of siege tanks, it looks like he's hunting. A lot of arbiters because he had them out so early. And great stasis. <laughs> that's new. Zerg egg in stasis as Bonbon bon crashing into the natural with a glut of troops. Arbiter gets wiped out, but don't think it makes a difference because everything is breach here. XTO needs to pull the troops back from the north to defend. Currently just plopping down a bunch of factories and hoping that his factory production will be able to evict Bonbon. Bon. And maybe he's right, but honestly, the way it looks, he's going to end up losing his natural expansion, so he's down to two mining bases. Siege tanks mining... They're sieging to the north, able to stop the mining here in the upper left-hand bases. So at least able to get some counter damage, but as things stand, this is going to be... It's still three bases versus essentially... I uh, didn't mean to click that button there. It's basically three bases to two still, and that's three fully functioning bases. And this can be re-grabbed as an afterthought. It looks like a lot of the probes didn't die. They're just hugging that gas. The Dark Templar being produced. That's a good play. Perfect unit to move out there to take care of those two siege tanks. And XDO still having trouble clearing out his natural expansion. Gonna fight it out, though, because this is a semi-final. Goliath, Lone Goliath now attacking that Arbiter to the north. Group repair to keep that... Well, single repair to keep that siege tank alive. So XTO clinging on for dear life. Single mine going to go ahead and stop an expansion briefly along that 9 o'clock base. Bon Bon expanding the natural in the upper left-hand corner. <clears throat> He's actually got enough bases to work with all of his probes. Slew of gateways behind this. Still running off a single stargate. Might want to tack on, tack on an, an additional stargate to keep that count high. <clears throat> Hidden probe to the 6 o'clock. But also staging forward in a lot of positions to make sure that XTO can't clear through and get the trenches set across any of those really difficult to maneuver lanes on Monopoly. Usually that is how Terrans win the match, is they just set up nice trench lines of siege tanks and vultures. And the way Bonbon bon has kept XTO off balance, he's really made this look... Like a Protoss favored map, which is not, I think, I think generally people agree this is a really great map for Terran. Potential recall to the north, only a single turret there, that'll provide detection. Dragoons dying with initial siege tank shots, but they're getting hit amongst the SCV lines, which is causing some splash damage. An additional stasis, is only one siege tank remaining, and a group of vultures is all that's going to be left to try to defend this. Goliath and Siege Shanks is desperately moving up. XTO has to hold this. But the SCV count dwindling. As the Dragoon just buying time for the Northern Dragoon pile. To just wipe out the mineral line. This is also allowing that 9 o'clock base to come online. And Bonbon bon in a strong position late game. Up 70 supply. XTO on his heels. Double dropship to try to get back into this. Interesting, XTO ignoring armor upgrades went straight for weapons across the board. Just was going to try it, and I kind of like that decision actually on this map. Knowing that there were multiple locations where Protoss has to attack into you. 
at difficult angles. Another armory sweeping across. Let's see if the, the double dropship is going to find that 6 o'clock base that's not yet mining. So at least going to be able to force a 400, 500 mineral cost with that pylon. The Dragoons not even bought, so not even working with the recall. Just going to drop one stasis and press in. The Zealots able to get right on top of the siege tanks. The Dragoons right there as well. And XTO investing so heavily in that drop doesn't have sufficient troops to defend... The base in the upper right-hand corner. SCVs piling, huddling, trying to survive. The command center now being focused down. That is going to drop XTO to a single mining base versus a slew of bases for Bonbon. Bon. So Bonbon bon wiping everything out. SCVs trying to distance mine. It looks like another command center was floated out. XTO in a lot of trouble. Dark Templar wandering in to go ahead and clear out some troops shortly as Bonbon bon clearing out what's left in that upper right hand base this is all but over and Bonbon bon looking to go ahead and make his way towards the Hasu League finals it would take an absolute miracle for XTO to win now observers wandering forward just checking the lay of the land Bonbon bon does not need to commit to an attack anywhere just needs to actually just pile some troops up here make sure that stays out of XTO's hands XTO can go ahead and take this base because right now, Bonbon bon is mining all over the place. And practically could take the middle of the map if he wanted to. XTO dropping some minefields, finally getting his first trench line along the southern edge. Able to take out a lot of troops as they're wandering into this. But Psystorm dropping the field. Yeah, they catch an observer with it. But the Zealots are on the edges. More Dragoons piling forward. Bonbon bon getting a little bit less diligent with his troop count and movements, but really does not have to worry about it because he's got minerals to spare where XTO does not. He can just keep pressing and flooding troops forward. He's at the stage of the match where he can just A move. And that is, in fact, what he is doing. Stasis to the north, wiping out additional troops, a command center floating out, and has to feel embarrassed because it does not have the protective clothing of the siege tanks and the vultures there. They are under stasis. And so that command center, just as it lands, looks like it is going to get obliterated off the field. XTO calls GG. Bonbon bon advances to the BSL Hasu League Finals to face the winner of Doodle versus Do Life, which is the match set we're going to move on to now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.